Hello everyone and welcome to a GetFitOver40.com video. I'm looking at something a little bit different today. I'm not doing an actual fitness or physical exercise style video. I'm doing a technology review. And I'm going to be doing some reviews periodically for you. So this one is on the Jawbone Up. And this is a fitness band. Very cool. I'll talk about this today. But I'm also going to be doing another review and I might talk about it a little bit on something called the Fitbit. The product I'm using from them is the Fitbit Scale. Now the Fitbit does make one of these style of bands, fitness bands as well, but it's not available just yet. They have a clip-on type item that tracks your movement, but it's not something I'm interested in. I want a band. So I'm waiting for that band to come out and then I'll probably review that band as well. But Right now I'm using the Fitbit Scale, kind of in conjunction with this Jawbone Up. And so we'll talk about the Jawbone Up primarily today and how I use it. Now what is the Jawbone Up? It's a fitness band. So what it does is it tracks my movement and it can also track my sleep patterns. It can also wake me up using vibration and help me out with snoozes and things like that. So how does it work? It just has motion sensors in it and it knows kind of what you're doing and it averages out or takes a good guess at what you're doing and bases the calories of that motion based on your weight and your gender and gives you an idea of how many calories you're burning throughout the day which is good for me because I sit around and I do a lot of sitting at my computer because that's what I do and you know other than my workouts I really don't know how many calories I'm burning sometimes I go out for walks but it's not as often as as I'd like so this is a good way to monitor the kind of calories I'm using I've also been using it to monitor my sleep I have very strange sleeping patterns I don't get a lot of early sleep I sleep later in the night I usually go to bed pretty late and wake up a little later because of what I do. And so this tells me when I'm sleeping in a deep cycle versus a light cycle, when I went to bed, how long it took me to go to bed, when I woke up, when I was active at night, if I get up, how many times did I wake up. And it also is a neat little alarm. I can actually tell it when I want to wake up. It's got three programmable alarms, which you can assign to different days of the week. And you can say, I want to wake up at 8. It'll wake you up at, say, 7.50 because what it'll do is it'll wait till you come out of a deep cycle so that you're not so groggy. Kind of cool. You can also program it to give you an optimal nap time. It'll wake you up after it feels you've had the optimal amount of nap time based on your sleep the night before. So really cool for that. That alone is very neat. Uh, I paid about $125. I got this at the Apple Store here in Canada. And uh, you know, other than movement, it's pretty neat because when you plug it in, it tells you your movement and all that kind of stuff. I'm hoping that my phone's going to sync. What I'm going to do here real quick, I should have done this before, is turn off my Wi-Fi because my Wi-Fi in this area doesn't work very good. Just use my data plan and we'll get out of here and we'll go back to the actual application. So I'm going to launch this app. Now what's neat about this, launch this app, is that you have an online version of this app as well. You have um, this app available for your iPad, your iPhone. I believe it's available for other types of devices. But uh, I'm using the iApp here. And you can see I didn't sync it too recently. So what I'm going to do is sync it now by plugging it in. So you notice I just take that little cap off. And by the way, you take that cap off and you can charge it. This stays charged for about 11 days. What I typically do is I'll take it off when I'm doing a workout and let it charge then because when it's doing a workout I find it doesn't really track my movement very accurately and so I just manually enter my workouts in and I let the band charge so you can see it didn't take very long and the bands at 90 percent charge about nine days left and it says that I added 3,000 steps since the last time I synced so we're gonna go done alright so there's this will just tell me today what's going on so you can see here my resting calories are 1084 active burn from moving around is 226 and total burn is 1310 so far and right now it's about three o'clock in the afternoon so I haven't done any I haven't actually programmed in any other information so now what happens when I want to do a workout and this is really cool here's my sleep so you can look here and you can see the different times that the sleep happened. See that? Pretty. You can scroll through it and you can see I slept for 7 hours and 19 minutes and 2 hours and 33 minutes were light, 4 hours and 46 were deep. It took me 11 minutes to fall asleep. 
I usually stay awake and play solitaire or watch TV until I feel asleep and then I just turn everything off and usually I pass out pretty quick. 25 minutes awake, woke up one time. All right, so that's pretty cool. Now if I wanna add other information, like workout information, I can go in here and add it in here. And just go in and add that type of exercise. You can see here, you can tell it what kind of level, how long you were working out for, and you can enter that kind of information in. So I found that the log is very good. Now you can uh, you can do other things. Let's go cancel. Get out of there. You can also add like your your power nap. That's for adjusting your power nap. If you want to take a power nap, you put your settings in there. Different things here as well. There's your logging your sleep. Now let's go back out here. And you can also there's a place to log food. I'm just trying to remember where it is now. Uh, I think it's over here. Uh, I can't remember now. Where is the food? But there is a way to log food in this app, in this program. That's probably another reason why I don't log the food in here. On my other app that I use, let me just show you really quickly, the Fitbit app. And this one it tracks my weight. So today I weighed 179.2 pounds. This was in the afternoon after a bit of food. So I, I've been somewhere in the neighborhood of around 179. That's my highest. Go in here into the weight. And you can see I've been up and down quite a bit actually over the last week. But it's pretty cool. And it's neat because you can go in here and you can log your food. So if I go to my food here and you can kind of see what kind of food you've been eating throughout the day and different things. Now there's a lot of apps for logging food. I don't want to get all caught up in the whole food side. I was using a program called Lose It to log my food. There's free apps you can get. There's things online you can do to log your calories. Um, both the up and the Fitbit allow you to log food. With the up, I know you can do it online through their browser. And what I might do, I don't, I'm not sure if I'm going to do this. I kind of want to just focus on the iApps here today. I might actually add to this review by showing you the online versions at some point, but I want to keep it just based on, keep it simple. Everybody has these iDevices or iOS devices or, you know, different things, smartphones that they can use. And what I wanted to show you was that you can use these types of things with just your phone. It's with you all the time. You can keep track of your exercise, your calories, your weight. It's very cool. So again, I just want to mention this. This is the Put this back on, looks better with it on. This is the Focus. This is the Jawbone. Yeah, Focus is when it's upside down. I love that. It's the Jawbone. And I want to show you, you just hit that button once and you can see what mode you're in. If you hit it and hold it down, I can put it into sleep. So that's the only thing you need to do is when you go to sleep, you need to change your modes. Um, you can press it twice and then one long one for your naps. So there's different things you can do to set it up, but it's really cool. And it looks good on. I like the, the look of this band. It's got, for me, it's got sort of a modern look. And I like that. It's nicer than some of the other bands. It's not too big. So anyways, hope you've enjoyed this quick review of the Jawbone Up. And uh, take a look at one of those if you're interested in monitoring how your progress is going and how much energy you're actually burning throughout the day. All right, so thanks for watching a Get Fit Over 40 video. Until next time, take care.